Hey guys, it's Mark from Erickson Machine. So today we're going to do a video I've had a whole bunch of people ask for, uh, doing a wear ring on a Sea-Doo. So in general, the reason you don't see a lot of Sea-Doo content on the channel is we're in New Jersey and a lot of the stuff is in salt water and these older skis, when they're in salt water, are a nightmare to work on. So I try not to work on them. So we rebuild the engines all the time, mainly I have people send me freshwater stuff. This happens to be a friend's boat from upstate New York, which is a freshwater boat, which is why I'm working on it. So as you can see, the wear ring is basically gone. So we're going to replace wear ring with a new prop and get her all back together. So let's get started. All right guys, so here we go. So here's the jet pump. So I pulled the cone off, drained the oil out of it. So basically what we need for this, you know, we're replacing the prop. The prop doesn't necessarily have to be changed for this job, but it's coming apart so we're going to do it anyway. The wear ring, as you can see, which this is really common with old skis that have sat for a long time, all the black from the wear rings worn away and there's you know, basically a quarter inch gap around the prop. No bueno. So what we're going to end up doing, we're going to end up using prop tool. So same prop tool you end up using for Sea-Doo or Kawasaki. We'll throw it in. We will throw the back end in the vise here. And we will pull the prop. After we pull the prop, I will just with a grinder, cut the wear ring real quick, which will re release the tension. We'll pull that out, set the new one back in, set the prop in, fill it with oil, and voila, we'll be as good as new. So let's get started. All right, so in the vise, props on, impact. Now, sometimes we'll end up needing to put heat on this. Um, Sometimes we don't, it kind of depends. There we go. So I always start off in the opposite direction to just kind of shake the thread a little bit and then go the other way. I find it easiest to get them to come off. So, but that shows you that. Um, we will clean this up. We'll go over the grinding bench and I will grind a groove in this and we'll get this section released. All right, so we just got it in here. Now, because the tail cone's off, make sure this doesn't drop back. We're just going to put a groove in here and then set a screwdriver in to split it. Another thing, this one doesn't have it, but depending on the year jet pump you have, some have, um, a small self-tapping screw basically running into it so after you cut it if it still doesn't release look if there's a screw it's normally under the siphon bilge tube which was removed already and now what you want to pay attention to is this center section on the OEM ones goes white and then it turns to black so when you start to see it get thin you know don't keep going because you'll go into the housing Come on. 
So that's how we remove that. As you see, I didn't nick anything in here. It just touched in a couple little spots, but didn't dig in. And that's the basic goal. You don't want to grind into this housing. If you get a little nick or two, it's not a problem. You just don't want a straight groove going across it. So give us a second, we'll blow this off and we'll press the new one in. So here's the wear ring. The flat side goes in, the round side, you know, is in the opening. So just set it in carefully. There we go. And then I just take a board and kind of beat it in. Tap over here. Perfect. And we are all the way home. Now let's blow this all off, but now wearing's all nice and new. Ready for a new prop. All right, so Time to repeat the process. Now, because there's a new wear ring in it, this could be a little bit tighter going back in. So I will start spinning it to see if we can get it to catch on. Yeah, it's going down. So the Sea-Doo wear rings on a lot of them, they end up touching in a couple places when you first assemble, see if you notice. And they kind of wear in as you go. It's not like a Kawasaki or a Yamaha, which is fine. Which is why I just kind of spin them on by hand until, you know, they're where they're at. And then we tighten them. Prop tool back in. So, you know. To tighten these, we're going clockwise. To loosen them, it's counterclockwise, just so you know. So now, let's get this thing flipped over and start putting oil back in her. All right, so we got it. We're adding so you do jet pump oil. I know people also use gear oil. Um, I've used both over the years. Honestly, never had an issue with either one more or less becomes a preference. Now you can also do this through the plug. I like to fill it this way because I'm hard headed. So now it's filled to the point where there's no more air bubbles. We are going to put the cone on. So this hole goes towards the top where the siphon bilge line is. So we're just going to push it on, do it, we'll bolt it, then we'll tip it up and add the rest of the fluid.
grab a small funnel. Alrighty, now the last little bit. Now some people fill it all this way, which also isn't wrong. I've just found they fill better when I fill it first the other way and then add the last little bit this way. go we are almost you know, it looks perfect let's throw cap back in and this just more or less has to be snug not tight it's in plastic you'll break it so there we go that is a replacement wearing and a sea do so, like always guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and see you later. Drop and wear ring, make it a little bit better. Oh my god. Everybody replace your wear ring. <laughs>